All right, then continuing where we left off, number 26, which of the following is a cause of DVT? A, motor vehicle accident, B, malignancy, C, prolonged bed rest, D, indwelling catheter, or E, all of the above? The answer is E, all of the above. Number 27, in which of these would you expect normal reversal of diastolic flow? A, middle cerebral artery, B, renal artery, C, hepatic artery, D, femoral artery at rest. The answer is D, femoral artery at rest. A through C are usually low resistance monophasic waveforms. Number 28, which of the following is not a collateral for ICA occlusion? A, contralateral cerebral arteries, B, posterior to anterior, C, anterior communicating artery, D, intersegmental to arcuate branches. The answer is D, intersegmental to arcuate branches. Those are in the kidney. Number 29, the normal portal vein flow is A, hepatopedal, B, hepatofugal, C, biphasic, D, monophasic, E, B and C, or F, A and D. The answer is F, A and D, hepatopedal or towards the liver and monophasic. Number 30, the most common site for atherosclerosis to develop in the cerebrovascular system, A, ECA, B, bulb, C, MCA, or D, ACA. The answer is B, the carotid bulb. Number 31, which of these is not a risk factor for peripheral arterial disease? A, hypertension, B, hyperlipidemia, C, smoking, or D, deep vein thrombosis? The answer is D, deep vein thrombosis. Number 32, what is the name of the radiocephalic dialysis graft fistula? A, Rokotensky ashoff B, Bud Chiari, C, Brescia Cimino, or D, Scribner Shunt? The answer is C, Brescia Cimino. Number 33, which of the following is TCD not indicated for? A, vasospasm, D, sickle cell disease, C, temporal arteritis, or D, ophthalmic artery occlusion? The answer is C, temporal arteritis. Number 34, which of the following would you use to record digital pulses? A, duplex ultrasound, B, continuous wave Doppler, C, M mode, D, B flow, or E, photoplethysmography? The answer is E, photoplethysmography, or PPG. Number 35, while performing a carotid Doppler, you notice reversal of flow in the left vertebral artery. Where would you expect to see an abnormality? A, right common carotid, B, left internal carotid, C, proximal left subclavian artery, D, proximal right subclavian artery. The answer is C, proximal left subclavian artery. Number 36, in non-imaging TCD, the angle of the beam is assumed to be A, 60 degrees, B, 40 degrees, C, 20 degrees, or D, 0 degrees. The answer is D, 0 degrees. Number 37, patients with peripheral arterial disease have which of the following skin changes? A, pallor on elevation, D, dependent ruber, C, shiny scaly skin, or D, all of the above? The answer is D, all of the above. Number 38, what artery are you trying to identify by doing the temporal tap? A, internal carotid artery, B, external carotid artery, C, vertebral artery, or D, middle cerebral artery? The answer is 
B. External carotid artery. Number 39. What does the following image indicate? A. Arterial occlusion. B. Occlusion of the deep venous system. C. Occlusion of the superficial system. D. B and C. Or E. A and B. The answer is D. Occlusion of the deep and superficial venous systems. Number 40. What technical problem is seen in this waveform? A. Gain too high. B. Baseline is set too low. C. Wrong angle. Or D. Aliasing. The answer is D. Aliasing. You can see the peaks of the waveforms wrapping around and coming under the baseline. Number 41. You scan a renal artery Doppler with a renal aortic ratio of greater than 3.5. What does this indicate? A. A greater than 60% stenosis. B. Less than 60% stenosis. C. Occlusion. Or D. Aortic stenosis. The answer is A. Greater than 60% stenosis. Number 42. What is the normal penile brachial index? A. Greater than 0 0.5. B. Less than 0 0.5. C. Greater than 0 0.75. Or D. Less than 0 0.75. The answer is C. Greater than 0 0.75. Number 43. Your patient experiences severe abdominal pain after a meal. You observe color aliasing in his superior mesenteric artery. What do you suspect? A. Gluten intolerance. B. Acute pancreatitis. C. Superior mesenteric artery stenosis. Or D. Superior mesenteric artery occlusion. The answer is C. Superior mesenteric artery stenosis. Number 44. Which of these transducers would you use for a transcranial Doppler? A. 15 MHz linear... B. 6 MHz curvilinear... C. 2 MHz phased array... Or D. Endocavity probe. The answer is C. 2 MHz phased array transducer. Number 45. Your patient complains of postprandial pain and weight loss. His spectral Doppler velocities are 350 cm per second in the celiac artery. What do you suspect? A. Gastritis. B. Occlusion. C. Median arcuate ligament syndrome. Or D. Cancer. The answer is C. Median arcuate ligament syndrome. Number 46. Pulmonary embolism is best diagnosed with which test? A. Ultrasound. B. CT angio. C. Electrocardiogram or D, x ray? The answer is B, CT angio. Number 47. NASIT or the North American Symptomatic Carotid Endarterectomy Trial. Whew, what a mouthful. Indicates carotid endarterectomy in what finding? A, greater than 40% stenosis. B, greater than 50% stenosis. C, greater than 60% stenosis or D, greater than 70% stenosis? The answer is D, greater than 70% stenosis. Number 48, the TCD window used to Doppler the basilar artery is A, temporal, B, occipital, C, orbital, or D, frontal? The answer is B, occipital. Number 49. Which of the following is not an upper extremity vessel? A. Basilic vein. B. Cephalic vein. C. Brachial vein. D. Basilic artery. Or E. Radial artery. The answer is D. Basilic artery. There's only a basilic vein. Number 50. While scanning a renal transplant patient, you observe low resistance in segmental arteries. This is A. Rejection B. Stenosis of the donor renal artery C. Renal vein thrombosis 
or D, normal? The answer is D, normal. Well, this concludes the second set of 25 questions. Please stay tuned for the next set. Thank you and take care.